It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy. Forgive us our sins and grant us our lasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth he is the people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, if you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. If you take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, and we're seated. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in one place. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which is the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry, for it is written in the book of Psalms. Let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph, called Barsabas, who was also known as Joshua, Justus, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two, two you have chosen 
to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave, to, they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted one with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Exactly. Our responsorial song. The Lord will give at him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord is with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations to the Lord is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord he raises up the lowly from the dust. From the downhill, he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will the seat with the leaders of his people. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I commanded you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Gospel reminds us of the love relationship that we have with the Lord. That as we see the Lord as friend, as we see the Lord as one whom we love, we no longer have that master relationship, but we have that friendship with God. And yes, we have that way of service to the Lord because the Lord has created us. That we do have that way of fear and awe of the Lord 
recognizing the great beauty that God has given to us, as well as the great ability that the Lord has in God's power. But we also remind ourselves of the great love that God has given to us, so we continue to receive. And once more in that last line, it reminds us of St. Matthias, that it was not us who chose the Lord, but it was the Lord who chose us. As St. Matthias was the one who was chosen to replace Judas, that he really felt that aspect of it, that the Lord choosing him, as well as the Lord choosing him after his death, resurrection, and ascension, that he would be part of the Twelve. And so live that life as a missionary, and eventually as a martyr, either in Jerusalem or in Georgia, where he finally witnessed to the Lord. For us, we are able to have that continual witness to say, as the Lord has loved me, how can I express that love to one another? How can I see the face of God in my sisters and brothers? How can I recognize that way of living in the love of the Lord? One of them, those ways is in the sacraments, receiving the sacraments, receiving that grace that we need to continue on in our mission. The other one is taking those opportunities that we have to give to others, to say, how can I express my love to one another? How can I be in that great relationship with the Lord? My dear sisters and brothers, through the intercession of St. Matthias and all the apostles, let us continue to live in that love relationship with God, Let's continue to know the Lord in that way throughout our lives. My dear sisters and brothers, sustained by the love of God, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For the baptized, for their leaders, for discernment among those called to serve, we pray to the Lord. For citizens and voters, for elected officials, for common work, for the common good, we pray to the Lord. For friends and spouses, for extended families and communities of care, for enduring love and complete joy, we pray to the Lord. For caregivers and service workers, for all who provide aid to others, for thankful appreciation and just wages, we pray to the Lord. For those isolated in illness, for those abandoned and alone, for aid in response to Christ's command to love one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for the healing of the sick of St. Paul VI Parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the faithful of every age, for the newly departed, for the life of the Spirit of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord and for your intentions. Lord, help us be the bearer of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, to our prayer. The end of the war in the Middle East. Lord, Lord, Lord. 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 Lord God, we ask you, Lord, to bless all our priests all over the world, starting from our Pope, all our bishops, and all the priests, including the, especially those who are uh, sick and dying, oh Lord, and all the priests who are also having problems in their priest vocations, Lord God. And um, we also pray for our deacons, for all our seminarians and we also pray lord for more vocations to the priesthood and to the consecrated life we pray especially for father matt and father tom that they will continue to remain sacred and inspired to to, uh, to serve in our parish we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer Especially those who are faithfully coming to Mass every day, and uh, we 
we also ask you to pray to, to, to bless their families and their loved ones. This we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For these prayers and prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear us, Father of Jesus, and make our joy complete. May the love we have for one another send us forth in your service, that the world may be drawn together in friendship to the glory of your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By Mishra Swarth Word One, I share the of Christ to one with himself, to share in our faith. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Great brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For we have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all of humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now, for ages and ending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come in faith. Therefore, as we celebrate and memorial his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We have married to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live in a man forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the grace of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be
This is my commandments. Love one another as I love you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to this share, graciously admit us to a share, and the light of the saints in light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for us. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the Holy Apostle Matthias. Amen. Amen. May he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the Apostles, may you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all, Amen. so that through the intercession of the Apostles you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go for it. The Mass is in it. let's pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, for our world, especially those in Russia and Ukraine, and of our community. A Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray the prayer for our Mother of Mothers, which is on that front cover of the blue gallery. Mother of Mother of Mother, 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 Holy Mother, 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 Have in thee I trust in thee. I know that you can in my all heart intercession. Help me in my need. In you I take refuge your burden. For in me I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all the confidence in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of Mothers. Mother 